Hi, welcome to topic two. This is compounds, formulae and equations. This is the second topic of the OCR A-level chemistry specification. Some of these topics are really long and complicated, but this is not one of those topics. This stuff is not complicated, but you do have to remember it. Uh, and as such, if you don't get these questions right, you do look a bit stupid. So make sure that you know this information. Okay, so group one metals. When they make ions, they make one plus ion. Group two metals make two plus ions. Group three metals make three plus ions. Equally, group five non-metals make three minus ions. Group six make two minus ions. And group seven make one minus ions. Don't get that wrong. It will lose you marks if you're asked to state the formula of something. It will lose you marks if you're asked to write an equation or write an ionic equation. Double check that you've got the right formula. Don't be writing NaCl2. Obviously, I've missed out number four there. Group four tend to make covalent bonds, so don't make ions. And I've missed out eight because eight are the noble gases, and so they don't make ions either because they're stable. And there are some other ones you need to remember. Nitrate, NO3 minus. Sulfate, SO4 2 minus. Carbonate, CO3 2 minus. Hydroxide, RH minus. And then the positive ions, ammonium, NH4 plus. Silver, Ag plus. Zinc, Zn2 plus. And you need to be able to combine all of these to make a chemical formula. So that the number of positives and the number of negatives cancel out. So if we're going to do sodium carbonate, You'd need two sodiums because sodium in group one so makes one plus ions for every one carbonate gives you two minus ions. The next thing is you're expected to be able to write balanced symbol equations and there are some chemical reactions which you're expected to know. For instance the reactions of acids. Acid plus metal hydroxide. Acid plus metal oxide. Acid plus metal carbonate. Acid plus metal. These things are expected of you from GCSE. But what they like to do is do this with strange acids. So they'll do it with acids you've never seen before, like nitrous acid, HNO2. Now don't let this freak you out. It's exactly the same as it was before. Do acid plus metal hydroxide make salt plus water. It's no different. Just take the H plus off the acid and replace it with the metal ion. What's a little bit new is that they want to do ionic equations as well. So ionic equations just show what's actually changing. And always remember to split apart ionic substances which are in aqueous solution because often, say, the metal ion doesn't change and just stays as, say, potassium 1 plus. It just becomes potassium 1 plus and nothing happens. And we call that a spectator ion. So I'll go through one now of ionic equations and then I'm going to give you three more to try and I'll go through those at the beginning of the next video. Okay, so calcium hydroxide reacts with nitric acid to make calcium nitrate and water. To write it as an ionic equation, you have to remove everything which is the same on both sides. Uh, so I probably need to say that they're all in aqueous solution. Except water, of course, which is a liquid. So if you're going to do it a long way, you need to split apart each of the ionic substances which are in aqueous solution. So the calcium hydroxide, the nitric acid, and the calcium nitrate, and then write them as separate ions. You don't have to do this step if you're feeling confident. Sorry, there's quite a lot uh, to run over the end there. Okay, so split apart the calcium from the hydroxide, the H plus from the NO3 minus, and then the calcium from the nitrate on this side. And when you do that, you can see that the calcium is the same here as it is there. So they're the same on both sides. So you can remove them. Also, the nitrate is the same as the nitrate. They're both 2NO3- minus in aqueous solution. Same on both sides, so remove them. And what you're left with is the same thing that you're always left with for a neutralisation reaction between a metal hydroxide and a H+, plus, an acid. You end up with OH- minus plus H+, plus makes H2O. Every time. And that's kind of the beauty of ionic equations. Every acid plus metal hydroxide reaction is always the same reaction. You can make different salts, but the underlying neutralisation is exactly the same. And that's why ionic equations are useful. So, I'll put three on board, and then I'll go through those at the beginning of the next video. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.